Hello guys, hope you are well. Today I am going to show you how to install CUDA and CUDNN library properly on Windows. It will help us to start our own deep learning and machine learning projects properly on Windows. So let's get started. Please do subscribe on my channel and click on the notification icon to get latest video updates. So the first thing that we need to do is basically we need to go to Google and then search for NVIDIA CUDA toolkit and what it will does it will take us to the NVIDIA website where we can download the CUDA version. So you can see the updated CUDA version is CUDA 10.2 but we are not interested in CUDA 10.2 rather we are interested in CUDA 10.1 because you can see if you go to TensorFlow and you can see that the latest version then that they support is CUDA 10.1 they don't support the 10.2 yet so it is also the same case for PyTorch if you go to pytorch.org and click on the get started you can see that the latest version that they support in uh, different versions in like Linux, Max, Windows, whatever, they support 10.1. They don't support the 10.2 version. That's why we need to go to we need to go with 10.1 rather than 10.2. So for from here we need to click on the legacy releases. And here you can see CUDA toolkit 10.1 update 2 and it is on August 2019 then click windows because we are working on windows then then we'll download that so it's it is uh, it is around 2.5 gigabyte and we'll download that save it will take some time to download the whole thing so just keep patience So it is downloading right now the CUDA one. So in the meantime, we can go to CUDNN and create our own account because it it requires an account to download the CUDNN library. So you can click on the CUDNN library and then you can join or log in. If you already have an account, you can just uh, log in on that and you can start down. You can start the download. But if you don't have an account you need to actually create an account for that so and i will show you how to create an account so um, so if you enter your email and uh, password and if 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 a cudnn doesn't get any account with that it will give, uh, take you directly to the sign up option and from here you need to uh, enter your first name last name gender organization and your occupation something like that and you need to fill up those information and then then you are good to go and by this way you can actually create your own account and click submit it will take some time then you need to uh, agree the terms and conditions of nvidia and from here you need to be careful that we need to choose the 10.1 version not the 10.2 version as i discussed earlier so from here you need to choose uh, windows 10 because we are working on windows 10 so if you click on that it will basically download the zip file of the cudnn library so it is downloading the cuda and cudnn library so another important thing is that you need to install Visual Studio 2019 before starting the CUDA installation. You can watch my video on how to install Visual Studio 2019 on my YouTube channel. The link is in the description below. So you need to make sure that you install 2019 Visual Studio 2019 before starting the CUDA installation. So from here now we click on the CUDA installation file. And just click OK. It will take some time to install the CUDA.
so you can see that the installation of nvidia cuda is basically finished and you can just close this window and now we need to install the cu dnn library and for that what we need to do is basically we already have downloaded the cu dnn from nvidia we need to extract that cu dnn zip file and you can use any kind of zip uh, zip software like 7g rar winzip uh, any kind of software and you just need to unzip that directory and here you can see that the bin file uh, there are bin folder include folder and li uh, lib library folder so you need to copy and paste these things to the installation directory of CUDA in order to install the CU DNN library and for this you need to first you need to locate where CUDA is installed and you can get it uh, I think it is on the uh, program file C program file NVIDIA GPU, NVIDIA GPU computing, computing toolkit like toolkit folder and then CUDA then 10.1 you need to go to that folder and just go to that folder 10.1 because we installed 10.1 version and here you can also see that there is bin include and lib lib uh, directory there so what we need to do is basically we need to copy paste these files into that installation folder so copy bin file and then paste it if it asks for any permission just uh, click continue and yes and then and then copy the include folder files like cud and an h file just paste it and then the library files you need to exactly paste the file that is uh, like the way it is in the zip file so it is already there in a organized way so whatever the folder it's in the zip file of the cudnn zip file you just need to copy the same thing on the original installation folder then i think it, then it is installed and now you also need to make sure that you set up the environment variables properly and you can go to the environment variables and check that whether CUDA CUDA uh, underscore path 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 is properly indicating to the directory that where the installation has been done so you need to make sure the uh, directory is right then click OK and so then if everything is okay you are good to go and you can test that whether uh, the CUDA has been installed properly or not you can go to command prompt and give this command to check that whether the versions that you install are properly installed or not you can you can also type nvidia smi nvidia smi and you can see that it is showing CUDA version 10.1 and it is also showing your gpu and everything so so that's how you actually installs CUDA and CU DNN library of NVIDIA on Windows. So, see you in the next video. Please don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel, like our Facebook page, and if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. Hope this helps. Thank you.